Hey guys, welcome back to one of the final episodes of Inselstadt and we're going to do a little, little bit, just a little bit of destruction in today's episode. So someone in the comments in the last video about the train network tour said why don't you test out the service vehicles for when there's like a destruction. So the bus that basically picks up people for when, for example, there's a tsunami coming or a meteorite. So we're going to test that out today, see if the little buses do actually pick up enough people. Do we can we evacuate enough people in time? What is going to happen? Is the buses the bus service actually realistic or is it just something nice to have in the game that doesn't really work? So we shall find out in this episode. So we haven't I haven't put in any types of um, which one? Where is it? I think it's in this one. I haven't put any of these disaster services in at all. So what's this disaster response unit? So let's let's just put this. We don't really have much space, do we? Okay, let's just put this one here for now. Like it doesn't really matter, but let's just put it here because it's the only spot that I can really find closest to the downtown area. So what exactly does this do? The disaster response unit sends helicopters and trucks two destroyed buildings in the city they rescue su survivors and making sure the rubble is safe for rebuilding okay well that's good to know what else do we have okay let's put in the large one because it's 10,000 so can we put this here or does it have to go does it have to go here why don't we put it at uh, this existing intersection why don't, I guess we should put down a few of them is that how it works like I never I never do this at all so maybe we can put one no let's put it up here it's kind of up high a little bit so it's away from the water if the water comes up a little bit uh, we can maybe put one pro probably up here on the hill somewhere so maybe where is the highest elevation for up here? You can put one here and just see how that goes right there. Um, and then maybe, so we put one there, one there, one there. Maybe let's put this one up here as well. Okay, so what else do we need? So we have a radio, we need to put in the radio so then they can know when they need to evacuate I guess so let's put this up here on the hill and then let's see how far that distance got us so then we can put in the smaller ones as well so it looks like it's covering a lot but not these outer areas or is, or is it gonna do it is it is it going to no okay that's okay we can put that there oh what happened no I guess we'll just have to put more down. Can I fit in this big one in the downtown? No, it's too big. Okay, let's maybe put it in here somewhere. If we can just slip it in, maybe just like that. Uh, can we slip in another one down here somewhere? Maybe in there like that. How's the coverage now? It's getting better. It's better. We can put one out here and then maybe can fit one can we maybe mush it in there? I know they're not going to be happy. There we go. That's good. These guys out here don't have much coverage. But that's okay. I'm just going to work with this area today. I think I might summon the meteor in this area here. And then we can evacuate everyone using the buses to... Let's see. I'll probably... Where would they evacuate to? They'd probably go to... Let's just close that. Oops. I guess they'd evacuate to this one here since it's kind of closest to the downtown. So we'll see. Um, what else do we need? So we don't really need that one because we're not doing earthquakes, we're not doing tsunamis. Weather radar, should we put that in just anyway? Let's just plop that down. There we go. And then we need this one for actually letting us know when the meteor is coming. So let's just put this down here as well. Like it, it, I'm not really doing it too fancy, so we just plop that down. Okay, so we should have everything in place for detecting the potential disaster. So now we just need to make an evacuation um, route. So I want to just do the downtown area. So I'm guessing... Well, I've never done this before, so let's just maybe start from here. 
and then just do like a normal bus I suppose and we can go around the downtown area um, put one there as well and then I don't know we can go this way I suppose I, I don't know we I really never tested this before so I'm not not familiar with it at all okay that's Wait, why does that go around like that? What is it doing that for? You know what, I might make it go up here and then it can go along this main road and come down here. So it can get these guys here and then it can go along this main road as well. So it's kind of just doing a loop around the downtown area and then we can put one there as well. And then is that gonna do that weird thing again? What's happening here? And there we go. I don't know why it's going around there like that, but let's just stay, let's just keep it like that. And then we can maybe, we can maybe do another one for this guy over here as well. So I guess we have to go over and select, how do I close this? And go over and then select that so let's do it down here as well um you can go like that i suppose then they can maybe this one can meet up here and then that'll kind of service these guys i guess a little bit but yeah so we can bring this back around like that there we go like that where's the other one i need to open up this thing again to find them all so i did that one i did that one and then let's do this one as well. Let's just close that. Okay. Draw evacuation routes. Through this big suburban area. Down along the main road. And then a little bit into the downtown area. Um, where can it go out? Yeah, it can go up this way. Do one there. Do one there. And there we go. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for the evacuation routes. So we have three. We're just working on the downtown area. So this is where I'm going to summon a meteor. Okay. So the plan is summon a meteor. And then as soon as we get a detection, because we put in this guy here, or maybe this one, probably this one. This guy here should tell us when a meteor has been detected. And when that meteor has been detected, that's when I evacuate. Um, so, just out of curiosity, what is my natural disaster level set at? It is in here somewhere. Gameplay. Natural disaster. Oh, it's down here. So let's let's not do hardcore, but let's let's make it let's make it 8.5. That's that's pretty big. Okay. So like I said, as soon as I summon this, when we get the notification, that is when I evacuate everyone. And let's see how many people evacuate in time, how many how many people die potentially. Um, let's just see what happens. Cause and if we look at the traffic, like the traffic isn't that bad. So hopefully the buses, the evacuation buses are okay. There is a lot of traffic on the highway, but I think that's just because um, there's a lot of people moving in still. So let's choose the meteor. There it is. A flaming rock from space hits the earth. The severity of a meteor strike affects how large of a crater will, will be created and how far from the impact site the destruction reaches. Place disaster to choose impact site. Okay, so we're going to do exactly straight down in the downtown. There we go. It is done. It is done. Okay, oh. Okay, it's, it's already been detected. Yeah, so that must be thanks to the the big telescope. So, okay, I guess it's time to evacuate. So, do I do I just press this? Is, can I? No, I thought you could press evacuate up here somewhere. I guess I have to go down here and. Oh, first of all, before we do anything, let's make sure they all have power. That one has power. How does this one look over here? They've got power. This one up here has power. Okay, so it's been detected, the meteor. So let's go down and evacuate citizens. Evacuate citizens. Evacuate citizens. Okay, and I, it, the, I know the game is going to get really, really laggy in a second. So please bear with me because there's just literally hundreds, or not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of people trying to get to one place quickly so let's see are, are these the buses or do I have to no do the buses okay the buses are finally going they're taking their sweet time I feel like the meteor is going to be here 
before the buses even like get to this, the downtown or whatever. So, oof, I can already see this is not turning out well. I feel like the meteor is gonna be here in like literally any second. Like sometimes it comes really fast and then sometimes it takes a long time. So I don't know what is going to happen. But um, I, I really like the sound. <laughs> it sounds bad, but I like the siren sound of when there's an evacuation. Actually, let's pause. How many people? This one's returning, but there's nothing. What's what's this one doing? Large emergency shot. Okay, that's that one. So, which way did I... Where did I put the stops anyway? The bus stops. Is this... This could be one here. But, like, are people even evacuating? Or, like, what is going on? release all citizens citizens so it is evacuating people but it just doesn't look like many people are are coming like these are all I guess they're going up there and turning around but like yeah not much is going on okay does it say how many people are in here no people inside yet is, is it even working like what is what is going on here does it need more power does it need more food a large shelter for citizens to live in during disasters after a disaster citizens who have lost their homes can stay oh so do they stay in do I need to put in the other one is that what I need to do or what's what is the other one it's the smaller one small emergency center small shelter to allow your citizens to be safe from disasters a shelter has a limited amount of space for citizens but you can choose which area use which area use which shelters by planning escape routes routes after a disaster citizens who have lost their homes okay so it's the same thing basically but why is no one coming and can I go up here and see like disaster so radio coverage so are these people evacuating or like what is going on these ones are green what does that mean high coverage but like why are these ones high coverage and these ones not when they have lots of escape routes as well evacuated is anyone evacuated no there's only like these these few buildings are evacuated oh my god and even these just these few are evacuated oh my god so many people are gonna die so take note the population is one hundred thousand and twelve one hundred and twelve thousand oh, oh my god it's happening is it happening already where is it ah <gasps> there it is oh my god it's happening already <laughs> Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the lag on the game right now is really it's really intense. Oh my god. Let's pause. <laughs> look at all the people. Look look at all the cars up there. Let's see. Look look at all the cars. Oh my god. What are they saying? I bet the, I bet it says it's confused. They're confused. Where did they go? Here. Yeah, confused. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just follow. Ah. Oh, 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 in the water with the rest of them. Oh my god. Warning, a meteor has fallen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, that was a real failure. It really was. <laughs> oh my god. I tried to evacuate everyone. And they just didn't want to listen. So I don't know. Look, no one got in there so I guess the meteor they just discovered like literally minutes before it was about to hit the earth so I guess there wasn't much they can do evacuating but there's only six people in there let's pause for a second is this one delivering goods do I need to just leave it to get goods in it or like I, I, I don't know but yeah that was a real failure I was trying to do the right thing, but you know what? It just just didn't work out as well as I thought. I don't know. Can you guys let me know what did I do wrong here? I don't know. Hmm. But I guess I can release them now. Release all citizens. There we go. Maybe I I think maybe I just needed to leave this longer until these are all full. Maybe at a hundred percent, and then more people will come. But hmm, I don't I don't know. Yeah, just strange because in the past when I did an evacuation the game becomes so laggy because so many people basically all of the city is trying to rush to this one little spot and when in the past you could zoom in and you'd see 
big herds of people walking in and lots of cars trying to go in but this one just didn't want to do it so I don't know so that was a real failure and oh what is that symbol there what's this one the area has been searched and is ready to ready for rebuilding however uh, I see that's because we built the um, this guy here so they can rebuild okay you know what let's let's evacuate everyone again activate all shelters into evacuation mode there we go okay let's just let it run and in the meantime let <laughs> let's be evil let's let's get a, a big tornado let's actually let's, let's bump it right up to 10 there we go there we go earthquake yeah let's put in an earthquake as well start some fires in the rich neighborhood I don't think a tsunami will work but I don't know will it I don't think it will I guess I'd have to do it here I don't know <laughs> there we go but yeah demolish buildings oh there we go demolish one so is everyone evacuating now or or not really I can still see cars driving away from the evacuation place six people in there already wow not really working no one in here is everyone too far away potentially or I just don't know what I'm doing wrong okay we got a bit of a fire here all of the rich people they are no longer wait let's just pause how many people died from the meteor so it was about 112,000 so not not too many I mean that's still a lot but not that much uh oh here comes the tornado but is everyone evacuated or not like no one is evacuated what is going on but doesn't that look cool wow look at it I'm glad we're right inside of it too oh Oh, an earthquake. Oh, but I never even evacuated these people. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Oh, well. I mean, I mean, they they could have drove to the evacuation shelter if they really wanted to. Because these people out here, there's not really that much public transport. So it's assumed they have cars, right? So, I don't know. But yeah, now we have a nice new little canal going through this island. So that's nice. And this tornado, he's still blasting through I wonder if the tornado would destroy this let's let's summon it can we like say hey come over here over here over here did anyone go inside no but let's summon a me uh, not a meteor let's summon a tornado right on top of it and see if it can last during that oh and this guy yeah they're still they're just in the hot air balloon, they're like, yeah, it's fine, we have really great views of the tornado, we have really great views of all the destruction, there's no, even though there's a huge tornado right there, the winds right here are really fine, so don't worry about us, so, oh my god. Yeah, so it's safe to say that the evacuation routes and the, the buses, the evacuation buses, the shelters, for me, complete failure, I don't know what I did wrong, but yeah, just did not work at all I think there just wasn't enough time to allow the buildings to get enough resources then enough time for everyone to evacuate but you know what I pressed evacuate as soon as we got the, the notification that a meteor was detected still there wasn't enough time so I don't know what else to say oh good let's see if this one goes to where I told it to go over here I want to see if it destroys the place or not what is going on here? Uh, were they all being sucked in or like... Oh my god, look at them. All of the cars being thrown everywhere. It's, it's, it's so cool that they do that though. Like that's actual sims being sucked up and the actual cars are being thrown around. I wonder if the sims use the same car all the time or they just summon any old car. Hmm. That's a good experiment. I wonder if that actually happens. But let's let's speed it up. Come on, let's get over here. I want to see if it destroys it or not. Okay, here it comes. I know it just sucked out a car from inside of the shelter. Looks like it's not destroying it though. That, that, that's good. That's good. At least they made it strong enough for that. But I'm sure it wouldn't survive a meteor. That is for sure. I think I've tested that before. But yeah. Anyway, 
I'm going to end the vid this video here. This was just a little experiment to see how the escape routes worked and see if they actually worked in time. They don't for my city. So let me know what I did wrong um, or what I can approve, improve on. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.